The Stroop Effect You're shown the word green, written in red ink, and told to say the colour, not the word. Your brain hesitates. That hesitation? That's the Stroop Effect, a real-life example of a command conflict bug in your mental UI. Two conflicting pieces of data, text and colour, are processed in different brain regions. When they mismatch, your neural pathways stutter. Here's a simple test. Try to say out loud the colour of the text, not the word. You know the answer, but the system bottlenecks. It's like hitting two hotkeys at once and triggering a like spike. The placebo effect. You take a sugar pill, nothing in it, no actual medicine, but suddenly your pain starts to fade, your headache lifts and you feel better. That's not magic, that's the placebo effect, a real life belief buff that kicks in when your brain thinks it's being healed. Your body doesn't wait for the actual fix, it responds to the expectation of healing by starting the process anyway. Some studies even show it can trigger the release of endorphins, reduce inflammation and modulate pain pathways, all because you believed. It's like equipping a useless item with zero stats, but if your character believes it's enchanted, it activates the secret plus 10 vitality bonus. The placebo effect doesn't always work, but when it does, it's like discovering your brain tame preloaded with cheat codes. Confidence isn't just a mindset, it's a mechanic. Hypnic jerk. You're peacefully drifting into sleep, your limbs are relaxed, your mind is slipping into dreamland, and then BAM! Your leg kicks out like someone hit you with a taser. That involuntary jolt, that's a hypnic jerk, your nervous system's version of a random error message. But functionally, it's an anti-AFK pinned from your brain. This bizarre little glitch has evolutionary roots. Back in our tree sleeping days, a too deep, too fast fall into sleep could resemble, well, falling. The brain would respond with a last second check to make sure you're not about to drop out of a branch or get eaten by a say the tooth tiger. Now, instead of trees, it just interrupts your nap before school. It's annoying, but clever. Your body is running a still alive script before you fully log off for the night. Lucid dreaming. Ever realize you're dreaming while you're still dreaming? When that moment hits, you can take full control. Fly, shapeshift, rewrite physics, summon people, explore impossible worlds. That's lucid dreaming, and it's life's version of unlocking creative mode mid-session. What's wild is that it isn't a fantasy. It's a testable state. Brain scans show that lucid dreamers activate their prefrontal cortex, aka the logic center, during REM sleep. That gives them self-awareness, memory, and control inside their own dreams. Some people stumble into it by accident, others train themselves to trigger it on purpose, keeping dream journals, doing reality checks, even setting alarms to reboot into awareness mid-dream. Either way, it's a secret feature that gives your unconscious mind a command prompt. And yes, it's every bit as cool as it sounds. Muscle memory. You sit at a computer and your fingers automatically hover over the WAS duties. Or you grab a bike and still somehow remember how to ride it even after it's been years. That's known as muscle memory, not actual memory stored in muscles however, but a kind of motor-based save file installed deep inside your brain. It works by offloading repeated actions to your cerebellum and motor cortex. After enough repetition, the conscious thinking part of your brain is no longer needed. You've hotkeyed a complex behavior to a subconscious input. Gamers feel it when their fingers move on instinct. Athletes feel it in motion. And everyone's used it whilst typing a password or navigating familiar menus without looking. It's basically your personal quick action toolbar. No thinking required. Microsleeps. You're sleep deprived. You blink and suddenly two seconds vanish. You weren't dreaming, you weren't aware, but your brain just took a tiny nap without asking. That's a micro sleep, a brief involuntary shutdown of your consciousness that lasts mere seconds. Your eyes may be open, your posture steady, but inside your CPU just hit pause. It usually happens under extreme fatigue, and while it's dangerous, especially while driving, it's also proof of a powerful backup system. Your brain knows when it's burning out, and without permission, it'll start activating sneaky autosaves just to preserve function. You don't even need to be lying down. Microsleeps are like standing next to a campfire in Fortnite. You're not actively doing anything to recover, it just sort of happens on its own. Adrenaline Rush 
You're exhausted. Then something unexpected happens. A loud noise, an emergency, a threat, and suddenly you're wide awake and ready to go. That adrenaline, the real world equivalent of a temporary stamina buff triggered by high stakes situations. When it hits, your heart rate jumps, your pupils dilate, your muscles tighten, and your pain sensitivity drops. You feel stronger, faster, sharper, not because you trained harder, but because your endocrine system flipped the switch marked crisis mode. It's a short-lived buff with a steep cooldown, but in emergencies, it can be life-saving. Stories of people lifting cars off of loved ones or sprinting miles whilst injured, that's adrenaline working overtime. One-time use, all-in power surge. Handle with care. Circadic masking. Here's a mechanic you've never noticed, because it literally hides itself. Every time your eyes dart from one point to another, called a saccade, your brain temporarily shuts down your visual processing. Why? To avoid disorienting blur whilst your gaze jumps. This is circadic masking, your mind's way of simulating smooth camera transitions by straight up editing out the ugly frames. You don't see the world as it actually looks in motion. You see a curated stream of images stitched together by a fast and quiet neural editor. The result? Clean POV visuals with no shaky cam or motion blur, even though the raw input is a jumbled mess. It's a literal optical illusion coded into your brain to make reality easier to digest. Think of it as life's inbuilt cinematic smoothing feature. Here's a bonus easter egg. Watch this short clip. The thing is, yawning is contagious. Whilst I'm saying this sentence, you're probably even yawning right now. If I was right, make sure that you hit that subscribe button since I definitely dot you. See? There you are. See you next time.